Today it's Saturday and it was Thanksgiving on Thursday. So it's officially Christmas season now. Like it's acceptable to decorate everything in Christmas theme. I guess technically it was acceptable after Halloween, but here we are. I'm gonna go get my nails Christmas themed. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll show you the before. They're definitely overgrown by now. You can see it's been five weeks, but they've lasted five weeks, which is amazing. face is burning from the sweat. I don't know how to explain it. It's like my skin's so dry and then the sweat like burns. <laughs> how was it? You liked it? <laughs> Very delish. There are friends in it. <laughs> so I actually forgot to continue filming this Christmas themed vlog. I got my nails done last Saturday and it's almost Thursday. I think I just, <laughs> I filmed like other stuff throughout my week, but it really wasn't Christmas themed and I felt like it wasn't going to go along with what I wanted to film for this first like Christmas vlog events that I'm ever doing. So instead, I'm gonna continue filming today and we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some Trader Joe's Christmas themed snacks because I walked in there the other day and I only tried the, they're like yogurt pretzel slims with like peppermint and they were so, so good. So I wanna try some more like Christmas themed snacks just because I've never been that adventurous with my holiday snacking. So today's the day. Also, this is my work from home outfit. <laughs> I was gonna wear leggings, but I actually went to laser during my lunch break and I thought it'd be better to wear like comfortable pants. So hence my little sweatpants. But you know what? It's perfect because now we're gonna have a cozy night at home and like eat some Christmas snacks and maybe watch, force my boyfriend to watch a Christmas movie. <laughs> I feel like this is completely identical to what I wore to get my nails done. <laughs> Except the reason is I didn't pack anything else <laughs> besides this sweater. I did buy the Lululemon shirt that I'm wearing recently. Should I do like a Christmas haul? Like things I've bought for myself for Black Friday and everything. This is maybe like, I don't know if this is a me thing, let me know, but sometimes I will have like Christmas wish lists and things that I really want for my birthday or for Christmas, but I don't expect anyone to get them for me. Also because I never tell anyone what I want. So I just buy it for myself. But then at the same time get disappointed if no one gets what I wanted, even though I don't tell anyone. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's just like a Sagittarius thing or just a, a girl thing in general. Anyways. <laughs> I hope they have jingle jangle. Mm. That's the one thing that looks really, really good to try. And then maybe if they have like a gingerbread mix. I don't know if they'll have that though, but I kind of want to bake something. so bad. I was filming myself like picking out something and I just 
it was so rude of me. I was blocking the woman and now I feel really, really bad. And this is why filming in public is so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty, especially after the rain. It's so nice. Okay, here is a little haul of everything I got at Trader Joe's. First, I got my dad a little chocolate Christmas present because he lives in Singapore, so he'll try some American store candy. <laughs> I got these mini peppermint marshmallows, and I don't really like marshmallows, but we're gonna try it anyways. I got gingerbread ice cream, which sounds really good. This, I think I'm gonna save for another time, holiday decorating Christmas cookie box with icing included. So I'm really excited. I think this will be in like the second Christmas vlog and I'll make Nico do it with me. So the next thing I got is this jingle jangle pretzel twist with a bunch of different stuff on it. Peanut butter coating, that sounds really good. Also got another ice cream, hold the cone. Peppermint flavored, I think I'll like this as well. I only really like peppermint flavored ice cream, like mint chocolate chip, I don't know. But I also really like these candy cane Jojos. So good, they're like candy cane Oreos, like Oreos with candy canes in the middle of the cream filling, it's really good. And then my friend suggested getting Jingle Jangle hot chocolate mix. And I've been craving a hot chocolate. So I think you just mix this into like some hot milk and it dissolves. Look at Jad's pretty little bowl. Oh my god, <laughs> cute and pretty. First up, round chocolate covered ball. That was popcorn and it was really good. I'm gonna try each thing and then give it a rating. Honestly, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. It's really good. But they all kind of just taste the same, like the same chocolate. I wish there was a little bit more difference, like saltiness like the pretzel could be a little more salty next one we're gonna try the peanut butter jingle jangle oh my god these are huge <laughs> i'm excited to try those cookie pretzel this is gonna spill but that one's better <laughs> i think because the peanut butter adds like a different taste and there's like a oreo bit or i guess like a what are they called jojos i want to give it a high rating but i don't want to like jump into the high rating too fast you know also the pretzel's kind of airy which is different but i kind of like it it's not bad i'm gonna say 8.5 out of 10. okay next I don't like marshmallows, but we're gonna try it and see if this changes my mind. It's a peppermint mini marshmallow. Oh, that's peanut butter. Right? That's just interesting. I vote that one higher than this one. Yeah, I agree. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, next, peppermint mini marshmallow. It smells really minty. You know, honestly, I don't hate it. It's kind of good. <laughs> I feel like in a hot chocolate, this would be so good. You can just hear the background noise of my boyfriend's friends eating all the snacks that I bought after they said they didn't want any. <laughs> I'm gonna try putting this in hot chocolate though after because I think it would be so good. Candy cane JoJo's. I'm gonna need milk for this, but. It's kind of a lot mintier than I thought it was, or like the last time I remember it. At first I was like, oh my God, this is so good. And then the mint just hit me and it was overwhelmingly mm. minty. So I'm gonna vote this at a um, six out of 10. No, I feel bad. I used to love these. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say seven out of 10.
There's like gingerbread piece in there. It smells gingery. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> it's actually really good. It's cold though, obviously. I would rate that 9.5 out of 10. You can see the chunks of it. Ah. I've been doing this thing recently and my boyfriend says it's really ugly. <laughs> I've been doing that <laughs> so much. It's been like a weird knee-jerk reaction. I don't know where I got it from. I think it's because I was mimicking the emoji, the one that goes like, eh. So anyways, I'm gonna stop doing it because it's gonna mess up my face. Hold the cone. So I've actually never tried a hold the cone. I've heard they're amazing. So I'm excited to try this. And it, this one's peppermint flavored. I don't really taste the peppermint. Honestly, it just really tastes like chocolate. Not very happy with this. I was hoping it would be like mint chocolate chip, which is my favorite ice cream. It's like mostly chocolate, right? Yeah, it tastes like a little bit of peppermint. It's like the least underwhelming of For all. For people who don't like men, they would be able to enjoy this. Yeah, that makes For sense. For people who really like men, they're gonna be disappointed. Oh. So weird, whoa. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> Hot chocolate. This is so good. It's like the best hot chocolate I've ever had. It's so rich.